Bon dia, farm fam. Welcome back to New Life Azores. So we are officially in the month of June. We are over here at the property that we call Hafug, checking out the crops and getting some hay for the cows. And I want to show you guys some of the crops. We got some good stuff going and some not so great stuff going. As far as the not so great, but we're going to give it time is the potatoes. I would think at least that the potatoes would have surfaced by now, but I'm not an expert on this just yet. But yeah, we have a few that have surfaced, but not much. Um, the green beans are doing great. We do need to go and weed, um, you know, pull the weeds on a lot of these crops because, of course, when the rain comes, so do the weeds come. We already know that those two last rows were duds as far as seeds go because the seeds we are thinking were probably old that are on those last two ro rows there. And this is some more green beans doing okay. These two rows not so good because it's still part of the other seeds. But if you look down here, these ones are doing pretty good. And then this is all corn, which, yeah, the corn's doing good, you guys. Of course, there's lots of weeds. <laughs> We're going to go in and take care of that, but the soil's still a little bit too wet. We've had a few rainy days. Um, but yeah, this is, this is what it looks like so far. I'm excited about the green beans because it's one of the vegetables I can eat. And the corn. Overall, so far, it looks like a pretty gray day today, though earlier this morning, the sun was shining bright and it was super warm when I woke up. Like there's blanket weather and there's sheet weather out here and to, this morning was definitely sheet weather. <laughs> we are headed up to feed the cows now, the bulls. He can't figure out how to get down or something? Come on! Just trying to make my way through the mini jungle over here. This is the spot that we're going to be planting all the banana trees. But you have to climb down a mountain, <laughs> a hill, a big hill to get to it. But it's okay because it's a beautiful little hike. Here, let me back out a little bit. Yeah, it's a, this is one of my favorite spots right here in this opening where you have the, the brick wall and the little storage shed. It's so beautiful.
Sean's trying to grab the tiller right now, but it's such a tight squeeze. Do you need help? You gotta turn it on in order to move it so that the wheels turn. We'll see if he can even squeeze through. I'm gonna spot him, make sure there's no big branches or anything in the way that. Okay. You guys, last week we were here trying to map out holes to plant the banana trees because this is where one of the lots that we're going to be planting the 100 banana trees and we decided that it was going to be too risky to spray in between the banana trees in fear of harming the banana trees so it wasn't an easy task but what was it yesterday when did you come and do yeah yesterday they got the tiller down here and they're just um, lifting up some of the soil and the weeds to make it a little bit easier to one, manage the soil and two, take care of the weeds as well. So you're killing two birds with one stone. Again, it was not an easy task. <laughs> these these um, wheels that they're putting on there right now probably weigh about 25 pounds each. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, and then we're on the hill here, so. But you know, it's all on a hard day's work on the farm. It's worth it. Yeah, so a lot of this soil was really tough, and compacted. So this is gonna loosen everything up. Sean's using careful precision going around the tree. Approaching his second lap around the track. He's in first place. With no cars following behind. Just joking, you guys. <laughs> it's all about that farmer's life, you guys. Rain or shine. And it is raining pretty hard on Sean right now. Um, I myself did not bring water today, but hey, I brought my umbrella. <laughs> you guys, the weather is so unpredictable here on the island. It does not say it was going to rain. It did not say it was going to rain in the forecast today, but it is definitely raining. So we're just going to try to wait out the rain a little bit. So I guess we're going to go for an early lunch because the rain won't stop and it's not that we're afraid of working out in the rain. Sean has a raincoat. Um, it's just that this soil will get all muddy and then you won't even be able to work it. So we're going to pack up our stuff for now and then we're going to go to lunch and hopefully it'll stop raining by then. One thing that's for sure is it is absolutely beautiful when it rains out here. I mean, look how hard it's coming down. Oh my gosh, it was not supposed to rain today. Oh. <laughs> so unpredictable. I made it back to the truck. The guys are still down the hill putting some stuff away, but it's, it's raining pretty good. And uh, my feet are soaking wet now at this point in time. <laughs> But I mean, my hair and everything managed to stay dry. And honestly, when the rain hits your skin 
and then the wind blows, you get kind of chilly. It's not that cold outside though. It's only like 65 degrees outside or 63 or something like that. But yeah, so during lunch, I'm gonna change my clothes and get my rain jacket probably. I don't know, depending on how the weather is, we might have to call it a wrap, you guys. You guys, I have to show you the cutest little thing. Look at this little baby chick. I have two of them, I'm gonna show you the first one. So there's this one. People say you could tell by the wings if it's a boy or a girl, but I don't know. What do you guys think, boy or girl? I was thinking this one might be a girl. I like the little white spot on its head. Um, Sean found these chicks abandoned from their mother, abandoned by their mother, I should say, and he brought them home and we're gonna foster them here until they're big enough to go with the other hens. But hold on, there's one, and this one's big. This one's a little bit bigger. And I think this one might be a boy, I'm not sure. Here's, again, it's wings. See how it's wings are, I'm not sure. If you could tell, someone said, you could tell the gender by the wings, but. So, since these are not going to be meat chickens, these are gonna be going in the layers with the layers. I figured we can give them little names. These are our only two black uh, chickens that we have. So I thought it would be cool if once we for sure find out if they're boys or girls, you guys can help us name them. Wouldn't that be fun? So cute. So right now we're keeping them in one of the dog kennels and Mako, <laughs> look at Mako. He's so curious. Um, we're keeping him in one of the dog kennels here. It's a little bit messy. I need to clean it up. They've been in there all night. But um, this is the first time that they felt comfortable enough with coming close to the gate of the kennel. Um, they slept really good last night. Quiet little ones. Um, but at 6, 7 o'clock this morning, they decided to start chirping. And they woke me up. But I do have a little heater. Hold on, let me show you. I do have a little heater set up facing towards the cage. I don't want to make them too warm, but right here I'm putting my hand here and it feels like it should be okay. But yeah, we are we got two little baby chicks, you guys. Are you going to help us name them? I thought that would be really cool if you guys helped us give them names. Marco, do you like the little babies? Huh? Do you like the little things? <laughs> First thing Mako does when he wakes up in the morning is come over here came over here by the chicks. Uh, today we let him out of his kennel. First thing he did was run over to the chicks. Um, I think he thinks that he's the protector of the chicks, which is good because at least he's not trying to eat them, which um, all of his toys make squeak sounds. So <laughs> I was a little bit worried about that. But yeah, they, they seem to be vibing. Mm -hmm. Hey, be nice. They seem to be vibing. See, I think he's protective of them. They seem to be vibing um, with the chicks. So Mako just growled at Aang for being too close to the chicks. So I think he's got his little protective dad mode going. <laughs> you be nice to Angie. So yeah, you guys see, still raining. So we are gonna call it a wrap for the day. Um, I'm just sitting here with my baby chickies and Mako is protecting on the other side. <laughs> video guys don't forget to like and subscribe um hit the notification bell if you guys want to see when we post new videos so if you guys want to friend request me on facebook don't forget to leave me a message as well let me know that you're coming from the channel so it can kind of weed out any spam that might be coming in and there's actually been a lot of spam and some scams actually that are going on out there right now um but uh, the link of my Facebook will be in the description below. So you just click on the title of this video. It'll pop up the description, kind of scroll down. You'll be able to see my Facebook, click that and it'll send you straight to it. Um, but if you can't find it, I'm under Annie Nova, A-N-N-I-E-N-O-V-A. And you'll be able to see our profile picture. It's our family on there. Um, also, the link to the merchandise shop is going to be in the description as well. We have some really great designs on there. Sometimes I get in this like 
really creative mode and I just make design after design and I was hoping about I was hoping to do weekly designs but like I said I just get in this like creative zone and I just want to make a whole bunch of designs all in one day and then I get too excited and I can't wait to post it next week so um check it out we have three new designs in the merchandise shop right now one of them is the Portuguese rooster so look for this design I really hope that you guys like it. Um, one more thing just real quick about the merchandise shop is um, it is only it's based in the United States, but we do send ship um, internationally. So you just have to pay a little bit more for the shipping and handling. But it is a possibility that if you live in Portugal or live somewhere else, you'll be able to purchase within that merchandise shop as well, too. So that pretty much wraps it up, you guys. Say bye to the little chickies. We're going to name them. You guys are going to help us name them. So put some creative names in the comments below. Hopefully one, I think one is a boy and one's a girl. We'll keep you guys posted as far as the genders go. Or or we could just name them neutral names. I'm curious to see what you guys come up with. Um, so I'll be looking for your names in the comment section. Um, that pretty much wraps it up, you guys. Bye for now. Mwah.